everyone and welcome to Steam Saturday. I am Miss Katie and I'm joined here by my lovely assistant Isla and today we are going to talk about plants and leaves and how plants help us live. Um, I work at the Hall County Library System at the Gainesville Branch in the Youth Services Department and I get to do STEAM programs and STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math and so we are going to try to incorporate some of those principles in our project today. And so, yes. But I don't make leaves breathe. We are going to show you guys how leaves breathe. Okay. So what do we have? What are our materials for this so island? Got leaves, water, and water. And yes, scissors. and scissors. Okay, so these leaves we picked from plants around our yard. Yeah. And it's important for this project to um, get plant uh, leaves that are live. Like I just cut them with the scissors so they have clean cuts off the trees and bushes. We have a hydrangea, a pecan leaf, two fig leaves, and a maple. Um, we have a clear glass bowl of water, and we have some teeny tiny rocks. And I'll show you what these are for in a minute. Um, you can use any kind of bowl. A glass bowl is good because you can see what's happening from the side. The water is just tap water. Um, nothing special there. So what we are going to do is um, put each of these leaves in the water and then place a rock so that they're completely submerged. You kind of got to make the, and if they kind of float midway that's okay. If they go all the way to the bottom that's fine too. All right. So I let you help me. You're putting the maple leaf in. Oh, see, that fig leaf is kind of floating partially. Okay, and we want them to be spaced out, not overlapping as much as possible. We're trying. We're trying. Okay. What about we put this, what about we put this big rock on the small rock, please? Mm -hmm. And what this is going to show us is how the okay, are you sinking it? How the process of photosynthesis works even after these trees have been cut off their plants. That's why after these leaves have been cut off their plants, that's why it's important that we have fresh um, leaves that were alive like three minutes ago. Um, so now we have to do one of the hardest things about science, and that's being patient. We need to leave this bowl of water in the bright sunny sunshine for a couple of hours, and we will come back and check on it, right? Yay! Yeah, so should we go do another project? Yeah, okay. All right, so now what we are going to do is another activity. Another activity. And now making plants in a bottle. Growing plants in a bottle. Yeah, and we, that is please key. let please let me explain how we're doing this, and then you can tell the materials. Okay. Okay. We are going to start a seed and grow it the way that astronauts grow plants in space. Pretty cool, huh? I know that. You know that. It is a process. Do you know what the process is called? Um, growing plants in a little bottle. Growing plants in a little bottle. It's called hydroponic growing. Oh, I forgot. About you forgot that. that hydro is water. Means water. That's right. And so we are essentially using just water and air and sunlight to and get a plant this. growing. So we Come are material. This is one that we started about two weeks ago we've got a one very tall bean plant going here and you can see there's no soil involved at all we started to the other one is starting to come out now all right so our materials that we need for this are a Cotton balls. Cotton balls. And a bottle. A bottle. And some water. And some spray. And... What's this? 
A coffee filter. Coffee filter. And what and are these? some pea seeds. Bean seeds. Yes. Pea. Pea seeds. So what you're going to do, and this is a job for grown-up because yeah. it's sharp and kind of challenging. How puppet. Yes. Is cut the top third off your yeah. plastic help. bottle. And it can Kids be. can help soda bottle or water bottle whatever you have handy and then we are going to cut some strips uh, yes dear and we and kids can help cut the bottle if they are very careful and their parents think it's a good idea yes kids can help cut the bottle so we have cut several long strips and this is just the kind of coffee filter that my um, coffee maker uses. You could use the basket kind and just cut long strips. Um, you could also use paper towels or um, if you have good well, string for it. Well, you can use the ones that you have at work. Yes. Um, the, I tried this with cotton strings and the ones that I had did not wick enough water to keep the cotton balls wet. So that is kind of our most important element is that we want these cotton balls that we're going to put the bean seeds in to stay wet. So now Isla, I'm going to need you to pour some water into this. Okay. Can you pour it to about there? Okay. So we do like mm -hmm. homo saw. Well, it's... you got it. Now let go. Watch, watch what we get doing. And stop. All right. Ah, I got wet. It's okay. So we have our coffee, coffee. filters as the tray. The coffee the filters are going to wick the water up and keep like everything nice and moist. And the like a drain. Sure they are. In there. You kind of got to fiddle with them. And make sure they are down in the water and not falling all the way down. And if you want to give them a spritz so that they'll stick a little better. Just a bit. Yes, and we'll do more spraying in a minute. Now we're going to take our cotton balls and make them fluffy. Yes. Fluff them out some. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Like this? Yes. We're almost pulling them apart. Almost pulling them apart, but not quite. Look. <gasps> nice. I like that one. So put that one in the bottom. Put this one in the bottom. Put this one in the bottom. Like that. Yep. And then we're going to take... Now we're going to take this one. This one. Okay. And maybe... Maybe one more. Yeah. Or spray some. Spray it. You want to get the cotton balls good and wet um, so that they are already holding moisture when you put your seeds in. Alright. Kind of good on my face. Okay. Um, maybe this one too. Do you want to give it a little more spray? Yeah. yeah. One spray for this is not, yeah, keep going. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to put three bean seeds in this one. So that's, so kind this of will be one. Yep. You want to spread them out. Two. Uh-huh. And three. Three. And now we're going to make a little hat for our bean seeds. Yes. <laughs> a hat. Um, because we don't want them drying out. So spray this with water. Like this? Mm hmm Good job. Okay. Okay, excellent. And so now we're going to put our little hat on the bean seeds. And we will put this <laughs> in a sunny spot, a sunny window or wherever. Um, and give it some time. Check on it every now and then. You can take a little peek -see at the bean seeds and see how they're growing. See that. You can already see them. And then in a couple of weeks time, your beans could sprout. 
and be like this. I will post a really cool website I found with information about um, hydroponic growing and different methods that people use. Um, yes, we, I had an extra one. Um, it is a really cool method that people use to grow plant and vegetables and fruit. Um, and they also use it in space. Yes. So, this is another time when we're going to be patient. So now we are going to take a little break and check back on our leaves soon. Okay, so now we are back. It's about two, two and a half hours after we left our bowl of water and leaves and rocks. Um, and it has been bright and sunny until right about now, or now the sun's coming back out. But if you get close, you can see that there are hundreds of little bubbles on these leaves. Um, some of them, the rocks slipped. I think the dog bumped it um, and knocked the rocks off. So they floated up to the surface. But the ones that are still submerged, you can see the little bubbles that have formed like on the maple leaf. Like on the maple leaf and that pecan leaf and some on these figs. Um, and that those bubbles have formed because of the process of photosynthesis. And photosynthesis is the process by which green plants use sunlight to make their food. So photosynthesis requires light, chlorophyll, that's the green substance that's in leaves, water, carbon dioxide, gas, and nutrients from the soil. So chlorophyll absorbs the energy from the sun and the plants use this energy to convert the water and carbon dioxide and nutrients into oxygen and the food that plants need to survive. They, store, they use some of that and they also store it in their cells. And the, so the plants use those nutrients and they release the oxygen into the air. And that's what we see here are the bubbles of oxygen that have released from the tiny pores on the leaf. They're called stomas. They can die yes, uh, in just a minute. And that's a reason why plants are good to have around is that they filter the carbon dioxide out of the air and release more oxygen in so that we have oxygen to breathe and that's what keeps us healthy. Yeah? So do you have anything you want to add, Isla? Um, there's also, did you know in your body when you like breathe like this, you have to go up like this? Yes. Oh yes. And Isla is breathing the oxygen that all these plants around us have produced. So I hope you enjoyed these plant-based steam activities we had to share with you today. I hope you give hydroponics a chance and that you try this super simple and really cool leaf experiment. Um, remember you can always go to the Hall County Library org website to find our digital resources including hoopla tumble books e-reads kids um keep an eye on our facebook page for I'm except your home right now so yes. we can uh, keep an eye on our facebook page for more story times and craft activities for all ages come back next saturday for another fun steam saturday and ah. if you oh there's a wasp ah. It'll be okay. Um, if you need any help from us, call us 770-532-3311 or library help at hallcountylibrary.org. Thank you so much and come back next time. Say thank you. Thank you.